Welcome to this video from the P-Way Engineer, on the four types of railway curve. Curves are an important element of the horizontal alignment design. They allow the course of the railway line to be altered, around natural obstacles, and to link destinations together. There are a number of different types of curves, so let's have a look at them. As you watch this video, please do drop any question you might have in the comments, and I'll try my best to answer them. If you enjoy this video, please do subscribe. I have lots more videos coming up and wouldn't want you to miss them. The most basic combination of the elements we have just looked at is the simple curve. The simple curve is comprised of two straight sections that are joined by circular curve of a constant radius. The most common type of curve are transition simple curves. Transition curves have a transition designed either side of the regular circular curve. This allows for a smooth build-up of cant, as well as the tightening of the radius, until they match those required for the regular circular curve. This gives a smooth and comfortable ride for the passenger on the train. The last two types of curves are slightly more complex. In fact you might hear them referred to as complex curves. A compound curve consists of two or more circular curves, with the same handing but different radii. The two curves follow each other in series, separated by a transition. Lastly, we have the reverse curve. A reverse curve is similar to a compound curve, but the curves have different handing, therefore reversing the direction in which the train travels. They can look like an S when drawn out. There are also transitions, too in fact. So, there are both the simple and complex curve types that you will come across on the railway. There is a lot more to learn and explore when it comes to track geometry and design. Head over to the channel to check out more videos. Thank you for watching.